Hey guys, it's the Dad. Um, I actually this is actually again my second time recording this intro because um, when I first did it, I ended up going on a ten minute rant that I really had no no reason to. Um, and there's no need to have that long of a start uh, to the video before we get into the level. But I do still want to address one quick thing before we get started. If you don't care, um, I, I'll try to keep it brief. And if you want to listen to a little bit, see if you want to hear it. If you don't, skip to the time I'm putting on screen. Um, anyways, so there's this guy who I started noticing uh, last during last week's video. I noticed he started leaving comments on all of my Force Unleashed videos. Or not all of them, most of them. And at first it was just stuff like, oh, you're finally playing the superior version of the game. Um, meaning the PS2 version is better. Um, and, you know, just, you're entitled to your opinion if you think that. But he kept using the word superior. Uh, particularly one commenter uh, left a comment and he was like, Oh, I had no idea there even was a PlayStation 2 version of this game. Um, this is so cool getting to see a different version of the same game that I love. And that's my sentiments going into this. I love that it's the same Force Unleashed that I've always known and loved, but it's it's different. There's little things different about it. But then this guy comments on that comment, and he replies to that comment and says something like, I feel sorry for you because you haven't played the superior version of this game. And like, dude, why do you care so much? But, you know, I'm that's some, some extreme fanboy, that's one thing, I can deal with that. But he started leaving comments about my skills and abilities in this game. Uh, saying the reason I feel so weak is because you're not upgrading the way you're supposed to. Or I think he might have said you're not upgrading your character. The implication being I'm not upgrading at all. Or that I'm misallocating points. And look, I don't want to, like, I I'd probably I shouldn't even have brought this guy up. Because who knows, that maybe that's what he wanted was attention. Um, I just want to show y'all something real quick with the Force powers. And I also want to tell y'all something. So I never show off me upgrading my character in games like this. I never did it for um, the Lord of the Rings videos and I didn't, I haven't done it for this game. I do upgrade. The problem is, um, you know, it's a lot of it of me staring at this screen deciding what am I going to upgrade? Uh, what am I going to spend my points on? Because I don't have as many points as you think I do. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm looking at it now. I have 9,000, 90,000 points. It's actually way more than I thought I did. I guess I got more points from beating the, um, defeating the boss of the Kashyyyk level. Because, well, for one thing, up until two levels ago at the Jedi Temple, so not last week's video, the week before that, up until then, I could not upgrade past level two. Okay? So, as you see, most of this stuff here is already hard locked at level two. Um, and a few things aren't, but that's because I'm trying to pour into, like, the critical stuff that I know I'm using all the time. Maybe one or two little special abilities here and there, but not a whole lot. I've only just gotten access to higher level skills. Also, I didn't think I had that many force points, but even still, um, the last time I upgraded, the last time I put any points into upgrades was during the... Um, the mission where we saved Coda three videos ago, three levels ago, and I kind of wiped out my points. And in the span of three levels, looking at it right now, I only just have enough points. If I wanted to upgrade one of these to level three, I could do that, but then I couldn't upgrade anything else um, that I have because it's all 4,000. So I have to be very... So I can either upgrade two things for 4,000, or one thing for 6,000 after playing three levels of the game. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad upgrade system. You know, it's. I think it's cool. You have to really pick and choose and be specific with what you choose. However, that's not what I'm used to with The Force Unleashed. The Force Unleashed is a power fantasy. You're supposed to be super overpowered and you get abilities and stuff to upgrade. And I'm, I'm speaking about the 360 version of this game. But... I don't know, just that comment bothered me when the guy said that I wasn't putting in the time and effort to upgrade. When I sit here and really evaluate what my points need to go to, because there's not a lot of options. 
anyways, I'm sorry. I really shouldn't have started off with that rant. Um, but whatever. We're going to go into it. We're going to be positive because we're going back to Felucia. Um, Evil Felucia. A really, really cool level that I'm looking forward to seeing how it shows up in this game. So I'm going to use some of these upgrade points. Then we're going to get going. How's that sound? Also, just to show off one more thing, um, in the Holocron viewer here, um, those Holocrons we've been picking up, they give you concept art, like this kind of stuff. Um, and I've been trying to use that for the, um, why does this say Ben Kenobi? Oh, is that a cheat code? I bet that's a cheat code. It said Ben Kenobi there a second ago. Um, but yeah, I've been trying to use the, um, the concept art for, um, like the in title sequence. I hope you guys have been enjoying that. I actually think it's really cool. Um, because I always like seeing concept art in a game and seeing what could have been. Like that one that had Starkiller and Coda fighting on top of a ship, presumably on Narshta. Would have loved to see that version of the level. That sounds really cool. But let's, let's put this in. Can no be, um, no game. PlayStation controller work. I am. I gotta use the D-pad. Okay, can no B. Um, except you locked a new costume. You will not be able to view cutscenes while playing as this character. I'm guessing it's a Ben Kenobi costume. If I had to guess, but let's just find out. Oh, it's Obi Wan. That's cool. Um, yeah, and I'm sure there's other cheat codes like that. I need to look through it. Um, I am actually planning, whenever I'm done with this series, sometime in the new year, I want to do a video that's on, like, all the secrets and easter eggs, both in this version of the game and the other version. Um, because I think that would be really cool to see. Anyways, we've gone on too long, let's get started with the level. Eat up, Senator. Why are you keeping me here, Maris? Your master would be disgusted with you. You're something to trade if Darth Vader finds me. Now shut up and eat. And if you're thinking about escaping, just remember that my new pet is very hungry. Looks like Organa made it this far. Where will you start looking for him? Where I first confronted Shaq T. If Bale was searching for the Jedi Master, then he might still be nearby. Does it disturb you to return here? No, um... If I let it affect me, if I think about my past for even an instant, Master Coda will sense it. It's dangerous having him with us. If he discovers who you are, he'll expose us both. Hey, if he senses who I am, he's not going to have the chance to tell anyone. That's what I'm afraid of. I still really like, um, there's two things about this version of the game that I think are really good and better than the other version. Um, little... Again, I actually have not watched the cutscenes of the other version of this game in a long time, because every time I play it, I skip them. But that was a cool little interaction between the two of them, um, and Starkiller coming up with an excuse. Um, also, I love the character design and the art style for this version of the game. Um, Those are Rebels Troopers. I take it back. I also like that there's Rebel Troopers in here, too. Um, what I was going to say is, like, the way Bail Organa looks so, like, ragged and, um, rugged and struggling. Um, like he's been here for a long time. I like that design. And in the other game, he just kind of looks relatively normal. I mean, like, a little disheveled, but not even close to, like, what that was. So I like that, um, more effort... Um, got put into that design to make it feel more unique. Um... Don't move. You're surrounded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hold. I'm looking for Senator Organa. The Senator is being held in the encampment. That way. That is really freaking cool that they have the rebel soldiers here. That also was not in the other version of the game. Um, and I like it in the one sense that like, oh, he's stuck out here alone and the only hope Bail Organa has is us. But I also think it's cool and it makes sense that he would have his army here. Plus that sets up um, Starkiller eventually leading said army whenever we form the rebellion. So that's really cool. Again, I think there's things about both these versions of the game that are great. Um, I just don't know if there's anything that makes me think one is superior over the other. Um, the line delivery in this one always feels really weird. The cutscenes um, are not, the characters aren't as expressive. And that's, you know, graphical things. When it comes down to what's actually being said, like again, that interaction, that was great. Uh, the character design here and the levels and some of the added context of the levels, that's great. But they also take away context. Like, we didn't know anything about um, Ozzy Stern on Kashyyyk, where we got a good little cutscene introducing him in the other version of this game. I don't know. There's, there's pros and cons to both. I don't... I objectively, objectively do not think you can say one version is vastly superior over the other. Because they both have things that work, and they both have things that don't work super well. Um, maybe I'll do a video one day... Uh, nah, probably not. I do want to do, like, a, a story analysis on this game like I did for Battlefront 2, but I probably won't talk about, like, mixing the two versions. I'll probably only talk about the 360 version there. Ooh, another lightsaber hilt. Sorry, I just, um, choked on... I just got a drink of water and was choking, so my voice sounds a little weird for a minute, that's why. Um... I was going to say I would only review the 360 version of the game over this one because I'm way more familiar with that version of the game. I just don't know this game as in and out as the other one. Is there a secret here? I feel like there's got to be a secret here. No? I wasted my time? Surely, surely there is something. Surely I can destroy these or there's a lightsaber crystal or a holocron. This is a big open space with nothing in it. Um, because the exit is back that way, where we were. I mean, there's fart plants, but other than the fart plants, there's not much. Okay, there is a holocron there. Um, 68 holocrons. One more and it'll be perfect. Alright, that's enough exploring. Let's go take out the evil pollutions. Also, the evil pollutions... I can't really get a good look at them here. Um, let me kill one and then I'll look at the other one for examination. Yeah, their mask is not really as, um... I like the other games, that's one aspect of art design, the other game I think is better, is their mask is kind of looks very droopy and melty, like it's rotting away. Like, it looks like plant matter rotting. And, um, like, I, I don't know, turning into con... I, what, what's the right term? I don't know, man, I'm sorry. There's a way more noticeable presence of both factions in here, like, it's crazy how many of them are showing up. We got stormtroopers, we got rebels, we got dark pollutions. Let's choke him out. Okay, that's the other thing. This has been a completely unedited cut. Look how long it took for me to choke him out. Although, to be fair... I haven't upgraded my force choke. Um, I'll, I will say that one. I was going to say the guy kept commenting, oh, why does he never use force choke? And to be fair, I knew it was in the game. I just figured, I, I couldn't figure out how to use it, and so I just never tried. Um, but I still, even if it were upgraded, it takes so long, and it's only effective against a single enemy. And I'm open to other enemies' attacks. Like, if I force choke him, I'm just standing here taking damage, um, and even if that was a quicker process, um, I don't know, I feel like it's so situational that it's not like the game changer this guy made it sound like in the comments. Um, also, I don't know if you're still watching or not, but I will say this to you if you are. Um, thank you for watching my videos. I am glad that you've enjoyed them enough to keep watching, or maybe you're watching just to, you know, comment that stuff you've been commenting. Either way, you've been watching, and I can't... I can't not be grateful. 
At least for that. He had a health pack on his belt, and when I killed him, he dropped it. That is cool, cool game design. That was a nuclear explosion. What are... Whoa. Oh, it's, it's the normal probe droid, but it looks nasty whenever it's... It looks way more insectoid um, when fighting us. That is weird. That is freaky. That is weird and freaky. I wonder if these guys with the spears are supposed to be this game's version of the Evo Troopers. Um, and because in the other one, they're like... They have a little force field shield and they shoot um, electric, and they're immune to electricity. Uh, I wonder if these guys are kind of like just a different take on that, an earlier version. Um, they're really cool in their design. Again, like there's... I'm s guys, I really am sorry that most of my commentary is comparing the two versions of the game. But it's a game I grew up with. It's probably my second most played game of all time. And I'm experiencing this new version of it. I want to comment on it. I want to say, give my thoughts on it. I know it's probably not the most entertaining all the time. But um, it's what I'm, I'm going to keep doing it. I'm not going to apologize. I will try to maybe ease up on it a little bit. Because I do do it a lot. But, I mean, it's like... Think of whatever your favorite game of your childhood was growing up and then you find out oh there's a different version of it where it's mostly the same but there's little things that are, it's like an alternate universe version of your game and you want to see what did they do different where is senator organa what the where is he why should i tell you because you want to get it off your chest i really want to get it off my chest you won't let me leave without telling me where the senator is I won't let you leave this command post without revealing the Senator's secret location. Well, where is Senator Organa? The Jedi. She has him in the Takarian village. Thanks. You're welcome. He's being held in the Takarian village. Um... We have a situation here. What? Um... Also, did that guy's voice just change? Anyways. Why Why would the... If, if the Empire knows... I guess they're like, they know where it is and they're about to go assault the place. Um, oh, there's a better look at the Sarlacc. That's kind of cool. Um, they're not built... That's, uh, 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 nope, nope, not gonna say it. Not gonna say other version of the game, yada yada. But, that's interesting. I'm, I'm curious where, uh... The fact that they know the location of where he is. That's, that's kind of curious. I guess they're preparing to assault the place. Um, and now there's no shock T to defend them. What will they do? Except for turn to the dark side with Maris Brood. Um, which is a really... She's a fantastic character. Like, the way she's written. I really hope that this cutscene gives her and Starkiller um, the critical character development moment they both need. Bro, I know you did not just zap me. I know you did not just zap me. Holocron, Holocron. Oh, I thought... Man, we must have collected more Holocrons than I realized. I thought this was going to be the 69th one, and I was going to be like, <laughs> Nice! Um, but I guess not. I guess not. We, we collected two others without me even realizing it. Alright, Lightning. Zippity zappity. End their life. It's a weird thing, Lightning. The way that we, like... It comes from the sky, it's superheated, but it also is kind of what all our electricity and energy is made out of. We see it as something both very dangerous and yet very versatile. Something that can help as well as hinder. Something that can bring about life as well as destruction. Also can come out of a Sith's hand. I wonder what was going through George Lucas's head when he decided to give the Sith Force Lightning. Senator Organa, Master Coda sent me to rescue you. <laughs> I knew he couldn't stay out of the fight for long. But I thought he'd be angry with me for ignoring his advice. <laughs> Don't worry, he's definitely angry. But I think he wants to be able to yell at you in person. Let's go. Hurry. Shakti's apprentice has gone mad. This whole planet has gone insane. Oh, we're not crazy. We've just embraced the power of the dark side. 
Stand aside, girl. Don't make me hurt you. <laughs> you won't. He won't let you. Okay, bull rancor fight time, and um, I just need to say this. This is the same arena we went through on our way here. If you're telling me this boy, uh, the, the Senator Organa, was just chilling out here. We thoroughly explored this area and he wasn't here. This is just so weird. It's, again, things like that, I'm like, that just seems odd. Who made that decision in the process? Did he eat me? Oh, oh, okay. I thought I, that might have been a, like a death cut scene or something, and I was like, what? I don't think I took that much damage, but maybe I did. All right, let's uh, let's try to fight this thing even. How? What? What is the most effective way to battle this guy? Is what I'm wondering. Um, I guess lightsaber throw keeps running into me and bumping off to the side. I just got to get far away. I'll try tossing things at, but then like in this time it takes, he'll run towards me. Um, I'm not complaining in, as in the sense that this is a bad boss fight, this time at least. I'm more trying to just kind of work it out in my head. What am I supposed to do to be most effective? Uh, because I am not, no, Star Killer. throw it at the giant Godzilla monster, not at the plant. Oh crap, I'm about to die. Um, I think I saw a health thing back there. No, gosh, he, his, his reach is too... Mmm, 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 mmm. This is just another is I just don't know what to do. I don't I don't get the best way to attack him because if you take the time to grab something and throw it at him, um, except for that one instance, he'll he runs up and gets so close that you can't really effectively do anything. Um, beyond, you know, you stunned him, but and the damage is so minuscule, why was it why was it worth it? Um, you can't attack him with your lightsaber, or maybe a lightsaber throw. Okay, I definitely see a healing holocron over there. But you can't attack him with your lightsaber because if you get close, he's going to bat you aside and it's going to hurt, as it should. Um, I kind of had him in a corner a second ago and got some good damage in on him with the Force Rage, but that was so, like, and even then I could only hit him two or three, get two or three good combos in before he hit me and escaped and I was right back to square one. I don't know. Sorry, this is... Oh, ooh, lightsaber. Lightsaber color. Um, or crystal. I think. And, and see, like this, he's got me kind of blocked in if he gets me there. Um, and his hitbox is so weird. It also doesn't help. This is a PlayStation 2 game. Okay, come on. Purple crystal. We got all three purple lightsaber crystals. Let's see. I didn't mean to run face first into that plant. Let's see what this one's like. I can't remember, was it the upper crystal or the lower crystal that we didn't have? I think... I think this one? Um... Yeah, it's a little bit more of a pink lightsaber. Um, which looks good. Actually looks surprisingly good on this planet. Okay, I think we might have enough... Yes, here we go. Oh, no way. Oh, that's like only halfway through. Dang, okay. Also, in the book, that's how he kills um, that thing by doing a force repulse inside its mouth. But it gets very descriptive with all the um, blood, guts, and saliva, and brain matter that got on him. Um, man, you're telling me we're only halfway- I was kind of like, oh, good, another kind of short, quick, easy level with two boss fights at the end. Um, but I guess it kind of makes sense they're going to stretch it out a bit to um, give you that fight the Rancor, and then you got to go fight Maris Brood. Also, I just saw I have enough points to kind of upgrade my character again really well, so let me do that. 
Um, and I guess if you want to see the process, I'll play the process. You can skip through it if you want. Okay, I think that's everything and everyone, so let's go to Force Powers. So I have 100,000 now. Um, that's good because, man, I was just complaining how they weren't giving me enough. Now they're giving me a lot. Um, maybe I maybe I was a little too quick to judge this game. In some ways, in some ways. Um, well, let's upgrade our Dark Rage because we've actually been using that a decent amount. We only have enough for one more... Okay, Maelstrom, that's the um, big force push blowback. I could probably gonna, I'm probably going to go with that. But as far as the basics, force push, don't really use it all that often. Lightsaber throw, nah. Repulse, the other one's just a charge repulse. So let's go with Maelstrom. And I don't have enough to upgrade anymore, but maybe by the end I'll get... Maybe as the game goes on, they give you... The enemies, like, you get more experience from them. I don't know. Okay, I see you, Mr. Hop. What the heck? Oh, so there's an invisible barrier on these things, so I can't even jump across from that flower. Okay, well, I'll just go this way. Also, can we go any higher? Can we get much higher? So high. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, there's another invisible wall. Cutting off my, um, terrible One Piece joke. Well, I guess the original song was a Kanye West song. I don't know. Like, I'm I'm just... For some reason, when I'm let, Let's Playing, my commentary and the random thoughts that come out of my mouth are, like, way more unhinged. Probably because I'm, like, trying to play well and I'm focusing more on the game, whereas opposed to, like, the, um... The Lord of the Rings Conquest videos, which I'm glad you guys have been liking. Um, I've had so much fun with those. That's, like, a new game I know nothing about, and on top of that, the... It's it, it's so wacky and wild that I kind of turn my brain off and then you get like the really, really dumb, funny commentary. Whereas here, maybe I'm focusing a bit too much on the game. All right, and here we are, Maris Baru. Um, that was not a super long little extra part of the level. I think that was a good inclusion. Um, hold on. Let's... Okay, that's the block button. I was pressing it. Um, let's fight her. See how this goes. I'm gonna try... It was you. You did this to me. Wow, that was a cool animation. Um, okay. Yeah, let's try going with... They're insane. I'm sorry, I want to hear what they're saying whenever they clash like that. I think it's very interesting. Um, but let's try being more intentional with this boss fight. You know what, I, I was complaining how they're all button mashy. Um, Let's see how true that it really is, if I actually try, you know, blocking more often. Um, well now they, they just spam me with a ton of enemies, giving me the perfect opportunity to try out my upgraded Maelstrom. There we go. Um, but yeah, I keep saying they're, like, really spammy really quick. And now I'm just, the, the screen is getting flooded. You're insane! Man, that is such a, such a cool-looking animation there. And let's see if we can't, um, get her off. We still haven't gotten a ton of her health down for how long we've been fighting her. Um, I guess that's a decent amount. It's almost halfway. I don't know exactly what I want, um, out of this. Okay, she's blocked. I think I skipped a cutscene there. I was mashing the attack button. Um, I don't like all the transitions in the fight. You can just have the thing appear. Um, or not skip the cutscene whenever I press the button, because I don't think I can skip other cutscenes. But now we just gotta fight a Rancor in the middle of the Maris Brew fight, which... Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'm the biggest fan. We already fought, we already fought the giant bull Rancor, so this should be nothing. Um, we, I mean, we have got it down to half its health already, so I guess it kind of is nothing. Um, but, like, why, why would you include it? Why not just let us keep fighting her? 
Did I get that right? Nope, I don't think I did. I know she ain't still trying to pick a fight with me while I got the red aura. Okay, the aura's gone. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Come on, come on. And, okay, bring it back. I was gonna try to charge something up, but I guess not. Whoa, what is happening to this screen? I just realized they gave her a whole nother health bar while we're fighting her right now because we definitely had her down to like half health or something. And it's gone back up to being full. Um, however, I feel like I am emptying it a little bit better this time around. Okay, so she can do the weird screen thing too, like what's her name from the Jedi Temple level. Um, and it is, holy crap, it is still very disorienting. Alright, let's go ahead and finish her off. Hold on, can I choke her? What if I try choking her? Um, like if I can pick her up. And force choke. Oh, that's that's okay. That worked for a second, um, but it still worked. All right, jump, slam into her. Thought that might do something. Ah, eh, kind of got a good little hit in on her. Don't have too much more to go. There's a holocron over there. Oh my gosh, I don't need to see this animation yet again. Okay, it is pretty cool. Maybe I do need to see it one more time. But that's it, that's good, right? Now, where's the holocron I just saw? Alright, just uh, come right over here. 76 holocrons, and now let's finish her off. So I can actually make out what the heck is going on on the screen. There we go. One. The senator is yours. There's no need to kill me now. You are a slave to the dark side. I'd be doing the galaxy a favor. It's not my fault. Shakti abandoned me to this place. This planet is evil. It corrupted me. Just let me get away from here. Just let me go. And I'll turn my back on the dark side. That one. She reminds me too much of another young Jedi who turned to the dark side. You shouldn't have let her go free. You really think she's free? She'll carry the memories of what she did here forever. Open rebellion is too dangerous, Master Kota. I know I owe you my life, but... You don't owe me anything. I told you on Narshada that I can't help you. Not since I lost my sight. He's your hero, and it's his rebellion. Join us because he's asking you to. You're the first to really fight the Empire. We're not prepared to go to war yet. We need weapons and starships, and people with the courage to use them. I don't know how many others will stand with us. But surely you know some who will. Well, yes, there are other senators who have spoken out against the Emperor, but they'll be hard to convince. We just need to show them that the Empire is vulnerable. Let me meditate on that. I, I'm sure I can find the right target. In the meantime, Senator, make contact with your friends. We're going to need all the help we can get. Master, he's here. You have received my message? Yes. Your mission goes well. I have recruited others to my cause, but now I need your counsel. My allies seek a major strike against the Empire. The Emperor rules the galaxy through fear. You must destroy a symbol of that fear. The Empire is building Star Destroyers above Raxus Prime. That shipyard is your next target. Thank you, Lord Vader. There is much conflict in you. Your feelings for your new allies are growing stronger. Do not forget that you still serve me. Master. I... I came to find out where you wanted to go next, but it looks like you've already been told where to go. Juno, this isn't what it... Of course it is! 
You're still loyal to Vader. After he branded me a traitor and tried to kill you, you're still his... his... His slave. Then why did you defy Vader to rescue me? What? I needed someone to fly the ship. We both know that that's not true. My being here has never been about my piloting. Sometime soon, you will decide the fate of the Rebellion, not your master. And when you're faced with that moment, remember that I, too, was forced to leave behind everything I've ever known. Please, don't make me leave another life behind. So yeah, ooh, new new crystal. Um, new costume, jungle combat gear. Um, what does that look like? Obi-Wan Kenobi, training gear. Yeah, it's weird, the, the jungle combat, if it's the suit I'm thinking it is, then why didn't they give it to me for that level? Um, come on, I know you're in there. There we go, oh! Oh, oh man, that is, that is dope looking. That looks like, like some sort of, like, old school assassin. Heck yeah, confirmed costume. Um, yeah, no, that's with, uh, that stuff with Juno. Um, and yeah, they still, ah, I cannot speak! Anyways, that cutscene was good. Everything about that cutscene was good, except for some of the line delivery in this version. Um, it feels like they're using the first takes in this version of the game. But what's being said is still really good. And there's that, that, that he lets Maris go free, but he's still struggling from within. And there's people starting to rally around him. And like Juno said, he's going to have to make his own decision at some point. So, yeah, this game, great game at a story level. Um, okay, that's a very basic lightsaber, but you know what? I'll take it. Um, and I'll... I'll go back to green for now. Man, I really want a blue lightsaber crystal. And I think there's a blue lightsaber crystal in the, um... Uh, in, in, in the next, in the next level. Which ability should I... I'll do lightsaber damage. That seems to be the best thing, so... What do you want? What do I want? I want to... I don't know what I want. I am not sure. Um, I'll tell you this though. I don't know what I want yet, but I know we're going to go ahead and finish off this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.